Okay, so one thing we need to discuss is the modern day brainwashing of most popular fitness influencers and their mantra of doing minimalist training. If you watch any of like the more recent fitness YouTubers, specifically the ones that are more popular, they always tend to push some type of idea on you that you need to minimally train. And see, I followed their exact advice, doing mostly compound movements like the squat, bench, and deadlift. I never really did abs, I never did forearms, and two years in the future, I come to see that yes, my bench went up tremendously, so did my deadlift and my squat, and I'm quite strong for my size. But when it comes to how much muscle I put on, it's not nearly comparable to the people that were training for bodybuilding. I was convinced that for you to gain muscle, you need to do compound movements, train really hard, and you're gonna grow, right? Th to some extent, this is correct, but once you get past that intermediate stage, once you've been training for a year or two, right, with proper diet, all of that, good sleep, good recovery, you'll come to find that you are going to be at two crossroads, where you can either split on to strength training or bodybuilding training. So let me tell you right now, just to get this out of the way, if you want to go for size, train specifically like a bodybuilder. Bodybuilders do not bench all the time. They don't squat all the time. They do not care about their deadlift numbers. What they do is pick accessory movements and crank them out for higher reps. Something like 12 to 20 is perfect. So let's say I'm doing like lateral raises. I hit a lateral raise, 10 kg. What is that? Like 22 pounds or something for 12 to 20 reps. And that will build your shoulders far more more than just doing something like shoulder press and going on with your day. You need to do more of these accessory type movements in more frequency, more reps, because they're not as taxing and you can recover from them far faster. This really hit my mind when I went to go talk to a dude that was far bigger than me, a year younger than me, and trained a year less than me. And what hurt the most is when I asked him if he tracked his calories or did anything like that. And he replied with a simple no bro, like I just eat. And dude was like leaner than me. So I was confused until I realized that he was training for bodybuilding since he basically started working out. See me, I trained for strength without knowing that I was training for strength. So yeah, I got ridiculously strong, but I wasn't nearly as big as him, where in the first place I was trying to train for bodybuilding purposes and not my strength goals. Alright, so if you found this valuable, drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, bro. Peace out.